YouTubers, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is January 11th, 2023. There has been three X flares within the last week, two within the last 24 hours. Here we have a uh, X1. That one was today. And then yesterday, an X1.9. And I believe I reported the other X flare that happened earlier this week. You can see we got multiple M flares currently going off. Spaceweather.com is saying that the uh, X flare on January 9th did something rare. It jerked the Earth magnetic field and they got a composition of the uh, magnet, magnetome meter or magneton meter. Sorry for slaughtering that name. Uh, could this be why they grounded the uh, planes early this morning? Here we have an image of the sun in the last 24 hours. And at the top left, you see a, a solar flare going off. And I give it here a minute. I got, yeah, see, let me stop it. All right, and I'm going to go forward one step at a time. Yeah, you can see it there. Let me go back right there. Here we have a current image of the sun. Now, I believe this is universal time, 1300 universal time. This area right here, uh, that's the bad boy that they've been walking, watching, excuse me. Uh, yeah, capable of producing um, X flares. It's d earth directed right now, uh, 3182. That's it right there. And then we got uh, 3186. Possibly that's where the last flare came from we also have 3184 uh, 3185 um, and going just now going around the uh, eastern side of the disk is 3181 and 3183 there is another one up there uh, 3180 3186 evidently is uh, let me move this over the area where the latest x flare came from According to space weather, um, it was a coronal mass ejection and it did cause uh, radio blackouts over the South Pacific. So, yeah, is that the reason they grounded the planes? I don't know. They would never tell us the truth anyways. Here we have another image of the sun. This is 3186 here. And I believe this is 3181. Yeah, boy. X flares are the worst um, solar flare, the highest um, solar flare that they keep track of. And for this one to cause radio blackouts, and it wasn't even Earth directed, yeah, is very concerning. As of 12 hours ago, they're saying that there was numerous M-class flares during the past 24 hours. And um, as you know, there's been at least two X-class solar flares. They also had um, an M5 solar flare from Sunspot 3184 and an X1 solar flare from Sunspot region 3186, which um, close to the northeast limb. Uh, little or no ejecta seems to have been released during any of these events as far that they can tell now. Well, it did interfere with uh, radio. All right, so I have it going to the 9th when this solar flare supposedly happened. Let me bring it up. Yeah, look at that. That was huge. Just huge coming off uh, the uh, southwest rim. And we'll let it go through. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that one was huge. Yeah, so I don't know if they grounded the planes because of this. Like I said, they wouldn't tell us anyways. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please share. Um, please thumbs up. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.